What's going on guys, Edgar here with LifestylesDefined.com here to bring you a quick look at Windows 10 Mobile. I installed it on my 1520 after a few tries, but finally got it running. Anyway, stay tuned. Now I'm four, five seconds from Wiley, and we got three more days till Friday. All right, so here it is. This is the latest version. It is version 180, uh, but anyway, really uh, impressed with this particular build here this is probably the most stable one that I've tried I do have it installed installed on my uh, Nokia Lumia 830 and uh, I had some issues with it you know my 830 kept uh, powering off and restarting itself and uh, so I finally decided just to go ahead and install it on my 1520 and again this is my daily driver uh, I wouldn't recommend it for most people uh, for me this particular build here is stable enough to make it a pretty nice and fun experience as far as you know testing out new software but anyway let's see what the apps and what the build is all about here and we'll start right here with the calendar application so if we open it up obviously i have it as a double wide tile um here this is basically the same calendar that we've seen in the previous builds uh it runs a bit smooth more smooth than before you know it is smoother and uh, definitely works a little bit better uh, than previous builds. But anyway, there's the calendar here. Let's go ahead and jump into the Office apps, which really the only reason why I didn't install the previous update is because of the fact that Office apps were missing and I rely on Office. It is something I use for work for lifestyles defined and for personal use and now that they are back I decided to jump right back in so let's go ahead and take a look at OneNote. OneNote is basically you know we've seen it before here's a workout that I created here uh, for one of my fellow friends that needed a quick workout something for abdominals so I went ahead and made a workout or created a workout for her here um, let me jump back in real quick. Obviously the back button exits the application so you do have to navigate here with the on-screen menus. Uh, but anyway, here's you know quick notes and things like that. Obviously you can open notes here so we can go into shopping list here and we have a shopping list. Jump back out. Um, Excel, I use it pretty often at work uh, mostly. Uh, I do have a few things here that we can take a look at so let's go ahead and open it up. And okay, so there's this document right here. This is uh, an Excel sheet that I'm working out for, uh, working on for some price comparisons on uh, lenses and things like that for my for my job. But anyway, so Excel does work pretty well. You know, you can select cells and sheets. Of course, if you need to make sheets, you can add them there. Menu towards the bottom with a ton of options now. Of course, thanks to the uh, Universal Labs and Windows 10. Uh, tools that we have here with office tools uh, let's go ahead and jump out of this application here jump into word real quick again this is just going to be a quick look at it we are going to do a few more videos on individual applications to go into more in-depth look at the applications themselves uh, but anyway here's word he, uh, word so if we want to jump on anything here we can jump into uh, let's see polarized quiz this is a really cool one that we did for work again um, I use Word Excel PowerPoint and OneNote for everything so it takes a little while for it to load uh, but here it is here's the document here you can obviously zoom in if you need to zoom in and things like that obviously notifications are working pretty well but if you want to move the cursor wherever you want here you can do that of course you have the same tools here towards the bottom and uh, really cool to have all this accessible here uh, with office applications so let's go ahead and jump back and jump into PowerPoint PowerPoint I don't have any on my phone right now uh, but and as you can see I've uh, I haven't really opened it yet so let's go ahead and jump in we can create new or browse PowerPoint applications here. So obviously we can jump in there and search from recent uh, device or removable, which is the 
SD card. You can search for those documents there or PowerPoint presentations there. And uh, another option there on top, Microsoft account. Uh, we can jump right back out. And of course, Office Lens, we have uh, OneDrive. OneDrive looks, I think it looks a little bit different than, than what I'm used to with Windows 8.1. Um, especially the menus here towards the bottom. We obviously know that the hamburger menu, which is, I just call it menu, is there. Uh, but here towards the bottom, you have another menu, which is uh, what we're used to for the most part. If you've been using Windows Phone for a long time, you know that the bottom menu is loved by most, uh, if not almost every single Windows Phone uh, user out there. But anyway, here's OneDrive. Obviously, you can view it. Here's You can change the view, uh, add, you can search, do all that good stuff there. And as you can see, as I'm navigating through the OS here, it is working rather smooth, uh, smoothly. So really impressed so far. And that's why I decided to install it on my daily driver here. Um, but anyway, let's jump into File Explorer. Quick look here. Uh, we can jump into Device here. And of course, we can look at ringtones, videos, anything like that, music, downloads, documents. And same for, same for the SD or, or external removable uh, memory card menus towards the bottom this is basically the same uh, application we've seen in past preview or builds jump right back out so you can see multitasking there it is looks beautiful on the 1520 I really do like this uh, the fact that I can still see with especially with the big screen here on the 1520 you're still able to make out some of the text um, you know one of the things I like to do when I'm uh, doing things or maybe I forget my password. I go into OneNote, open it up, and then jump between OneNote and the uh, place where I need to insert my password. And it's easy to just go back and forth, copy and paste, and do all that good stuff there. So let's jump back into the application here. It works well for the most part. There's times when you try to jump back to an application that you've used in the past, and uh, when you jump, try to jump back in, it takes you back to the, to the start screen. So that's one thing we ran into. Um, Anyway, let's jump out. So obviously folders works pretty good. Uh, one of the things that is not working is the people app. And that was almost a deal breaker for me, but I decided to try a third party application. Um, for instance, if I try to jump into people, so it hasn't worked for a while. So if I try to jump on it, watch it work now, of course. There it is, see, you try to jump on it, it just kicks you right back out so what i did i downloaded this application called contacts uh, which allows me to call people so there's the you know numbers and stuff like that obviously we don't want to take a look at that but anyway this application basically is replacing the people that for me uh for now it's not a permanent thing but it's something that i need in order to use this phone as my daily driver with windows 10 mobile um, so definitely keep that in mind. I think one of the things that I've read online is that when you download Skype or Twitter, it it breaks the uh, the people app. So basically, once you download Twitter or Skype, the people app stops uh, working and it's no longer usable. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, I ha obviously, I have a ton of other applications here. We have uh, six tag Facebook, uh, Facebook pages, WhatsApp Messenger. I have a ton of applications that are currently working i know some people were having issues with applications not being able to uh, download or install on the device uh, but again i tried to install this build a few times and had to re hard reset my phone and do a clean install in order for it to finally work for me um, but anyway let's go ahead and jump into a music preview is uh you know it's it's a little iffy right now obviously it doesn't look too amazing right now it's really plain uh, but we can jump into it and shuffle music here um, so there's great shots in there you can skip pause uh, you can restart the song and of course shuffle you have a menu as well if you want to skip you can just swipe that way too kind of weird we go from that from country to uh, rap here so again you can just keep swiping and it's you know there it is it's a little bit of lag there but it works it gets the job done and so far I'm pretty impressed with it you know I do kind of like the way it's going we have the menu here towards the top uh, explore radio albums artists songs make you know instead of making a uh, swipe gestures 
Uh, you simply click on that menu there and you get the options uh, here towards the left. It's really interesting way of navigating and at first I, I was a really bothered by it but it's kind of growing in, growing on me and uh, I'm kind of appreciating the menus here although of course for one handed use it would be better to have the menu towards the bottom uh, like we've uh, adapted to with Windows Phone throughout the, uh, the last few years. Uh, but anyway, that is the music application there. So let's jump back home. Uh, video application, I think this is the standard one, the one that we have and we currently use on Windows in Windows 8.1. So let's go ahead and jump into the preview application. So let's jump into it right there. And oh, obviously it takes me back to, okay, there it is. Um, so videos, movies, TV, so if I jump into movies, obviously it's going to bring up my collection of movies here. Harry Potter, I have the whole collection there. Big fan of that. Um, a few other movies here. The Hobbit, big fan of that. Elysium, huge fan of that. So obviously if you want to watch the movie, you can you know download it. You have the option to download. Uh, and you can also, of course, play. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, so let's see if it works. All right, there it is. A few more options here. Uh, and I think I, tr okay, I made it skip. Uh, but anyway, pause, play, you have all that stuff there. You can zoom in and zoom out, which is interesting. Um, and of course we can always rotate it, but I won't do that right now. This phone's huge. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump out. And as you can see, it kind of lagged a little bit there. Let's jump into the start screen. So see, that's a pretty fast transition. Um, and I think maybe the, the power of the 1520 kind of helps a little bit. Um, my fifth, uh, my 830, I was having a few issues with, uh, you know, certain uh, navigations and, and animations as well. Um, but anyway, that was the music or the video uh, preview application there. Again, I have a few other applications here towards the bottom. You have the uh, new store, which takes a second to load, a few seconds to load, really. Um, some applications, I, I've had a few issues with uh, downloading applications through here, um, but this is the only way to get the Office applications is through the new store. If you try, you can't find them on the, on the current uh, store for Windows Phone. Uh, but anyway, I, I do kind of like the layout. There's obviously a few things to sharpen up and, and uh, definitely fix as far as you know navigation and, and being able to tell what where things are um, but so far of course you got the menu on top again you can do apps games music tv settings all that good stuff there so and one of the things that's cool is purchased applications you can jump on there and it'll bring up your purchased stuff but obviously it'll launch project spartan uh but definitely liking it so far i think it's a uh, pretty cool we can search uh, let's search for my tube one of my favorite youtube applications here so hit search and there's the youtube applications there so it's pretty pretty decent i think uh i think i, I can deal with it uh anyway let's go ahead and jump back obviously we have a few other options here we have the alarm clock which i don't think it's changed much you have the the alarms you have the world clock uh, timer, stopwatch, all that good stuff there. Jump back out. We can jump into calculator, and I think it's basically the same one we've seen in the previous build. So, uh, again, it's pretty standard. It's the calculator, so we won't go into too much detail on that application there. Uh, jumping into Cortana, obviously, it takes a few seconds to launch, but voice and things like that works a lot better. Uh, we can set reminders with voice, call with voice, uh, and of course ask questions and do searches with voice. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, again, we're going to go into detail in a separate video for uh, a few of these applications here that I feel deserve their own time. Um, but anyway, Cortana works pretty well and I think uh, I think most people will enjoy it a lot better than in the, in the earlier builds. Uh, let's see one of the things that's pretty cool is obviously settings if we jump into settings we can uh, definitely jump into personalization here start screen now you can set uh, none you can set a tile or full background so if we want tile one of the things that I've noticed and I'll show you here real quick 
one of the things that I noticed is that when you add a background and you try to do tile only, instead of setting the full background on the back and making the tiles transparent, it makes every that it puts that background on every single tile. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, so let's go ahead and find a nice. And the one thing that's missing here, you don't have the option to choose other applications for for the uh, background. So now you have to literally dig through a ton of pictures. So let's go ahead and choose this uh, green one here. All right, so there's the full background. Click the check mark. So see, this is the way it's supposed to look, but watch when I jump back into the start screen. So obviously you can see here that the background is in each individual tile. It's not a background making the tiles transparent. It's actually the same background on every single uh, tile, which is really weird. So anyway, if we want to make it a bit better, we can jump back in here and do full. And now you can obviously control the transparency here of the tiles, make them darker or uh, lighter. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and hit the home button there or the start button Takes a few seconds uh, to jump back into the start screen and Okay, so if you notice there if you look at that background, it's halfway on the screen. So let's jump back Sometimes this happens here. The background is only on three quarters of the screen here and the last quarter There is nothing but a black background. So the way you fix that is jump back into settings personalization start what you want to do is go back to tile and then go back to full hit the start button and now you have the full background that's a fix that I figured out uh, after I noticed uh, that it was putting the actual background in every tile or it was putting half of the screen with a wallpaper and half of the screen with a black screen that's the way to fix that um, again the other thing that is really weird is when you make phone calls you actually are able to see whatever applications you are in when you call somebody so you'll have the little bubble here on top the little circle with a thumbnail picture of the contact that you are currently calling but the weird things like if we are in a uh, project spartan here so let's launch it if you call somebody this whole section will show up on the when you're calling somebody on the call screen which is really weird um, so a few little things here and there as far as bugs and things like that um, Third-party applications work really, really well. Uh, Outlook Mail, I like this application. I, you know, I think some people like to have their mailboxes all into one, um, but it's really neat to be able to switch back and forth between different uh, accounts. You know, just to keep you a bit more organized as opposed to having everything on one. Again, swipe to delete, and of course, if you want to flag, go this way. If you want to delete, go that way. Um, so it's really easy, really simple to use, and I really dig this application here. Um, but anyway, again, uh, notifications, ob obviously, if you bring them down, you can obviously uh, text from there, do all that good stuff there. So notifications work really well. I think so far, this is definitely the best um, built so far, the smoothest, the most uh, stable that I've experienced so far. Not the same uh, story for my Lumia 830. I, I am having some issues on that device there, but this one, the 1520 is uh, doing a really good job of uh, running this build here. So anyway, this was again, just a quick look at everything that comes with uh, build 180. Stay tuned for more. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, stop by lifestylesdefined.com. Again, my name is Edgar. I'll see you guys next time.